Now, this place spits out over 250 pounds of fudge almost every day, six days a week. It's a lot of fudge. And it all happens right here. Let's go check it out. Yeah. It's really amazing. The monks make over 250 pounds of fudge a day, six days a week in this place. And this is where it all happens. I'm about to take a peek. Wow. Looking good. 136 pounds of fudge, 20 pounds of butter, and of course some bourbon, all churning in this pot. And it is taking everything in here right now not to sneak a taste. But I can wait, I can be patient. Well, you, well, it'll it'll air on TV, and you'll get to see it, and you'll see Brother Rafael in action, and you'll just you'll be in awe. Yeah, it's actually going to be sleeping in a chair. Is it gonna be actually going to be on TV? <laughs> that's that's the goal. That's the aim. So what? we're. So the, what do you have to do? Sell it to a TV? Yeah, this is the pilot episode, so it's really a matter of kind of convincing people to invest into it, and, and then we just kind of go from there. Oh, well, good luck. Thank you. And good luck with Brother Rafael. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Anyways, but I had um. I started reading this contemplative literature, and it just it spoke to me so deeply. And uh, Thomas Merton's, you know, a, a lot of his stuff was very available, so I naturally read a lot of it. But I had, uh, um, I joined this band, and they're based out of Kentucky. How you doing? And uh, I joined the band not knowing that Lawrenceburg was so close to the Abbey. So it's kind of a neat, you know what I'm saying? Like a neat, a neat. Yeah, it really was. It really was. So. Naturally, I started to come here and never stopped. Yeah, it, it was just, uh, and it's, it's exactly what I needed, and, yep. and God knew that, and that's why I wound up here the way I did. But um, and I, uh, so it's, in, in a way, it's kind of like, I, you know, this place made such an impact on my life. I, I yeah.
our mornings. Let me start over. Oops. There we go. You ready? We're here right now with Brother Camillus. This guy rocks. He's the oldest monk here. He entered the monastery when you were, what, 15? 15. 15 years old. He's been here a long time. I asked him if he'd share a little bit of his story, and uh, last night he wrote something down. So we're going to have it. Uh, we're going to have it read this morning. Right. So go there ahead. We go. In the year 1940, June 25th, Feast of St. John the Baptist, I left Philadelphia, the world to enter a new life, a life of prayer and penance, dedicated to God alone, peace within to those who enter. On my arrival, I was very happy. From here on, I would embrace a life with God alone, praying for the people in the world who do not pray. Seeking God in everything, I do or say, love without end. It was a strict life, hard work, and silence, and fasting. Praise God, I have reached the life I long for, God alone. Right. Do you mind if I ask you one question, yes. Brother Mills? All the years that you've been here, what's, what's the, the biggest thing you've learned looking back? What's the biggest thing you've learned? The biggest thing I've learned is uh, to love God. That's the primary thing that we come. And to love people and to pray for the world. That's it. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah.
Ready. Just get that tape. Okay. Boom. All right. And speed. Okay. Okay. Action. Three, two, one. Part of the reason I'm here is because of monks like Father Seamus. You want to just a little faster oh, really? than us too. Confidence and what? Conf the step is the pro. I feel like. Yeah, you're walking faster okay. than us, and you're okay. like walking out of camera. Slow. Seriously, just, slow. Just now, just like think back to Father Seamus in yeah. your mind. Think but I'm saying the sentence right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's definitely. Oh, let me let me try it this way. Uh, Walk and talk. Here we go. Here we go. You're, okay. you're going right into this interview. Okay. Right into okay. this interview. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Part of the reason that I'm here is because of monks like Father Seamus. In fact, he was the very first monk that I ever saw. Again. Okay. okay. After we, after he says this, why don't you stop and he'll just keep going. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. Then we'll That'd have some like really good some idea. rollout. Okay. Okay. That was that was perfect. Okay. Yeah, good. Good. I really like it. Okay. Cool. Ready? Okay. Yep. Here we go. A couple steps. Okay. Part of the reason I'm here is because of monks like Father Seamus. <laughs> In fact, he was the very first monk that I ever saw. One more for safety. Yeah. yeah. yeah awesome. I love this cart thing. Oh, you right. yeah. killing ready? my knees, ready? but ready? Yeah. action. Part of the reason that I'm here is because of monks like Father Seamus. In fact, he was the very first monk that I ever saw. One more, can we do it one more time? Only, yeah. yeah. Maybe you could say the very first monk I ever met. Okay. Just, then. just, just because it makes it a little more smooth. Yeah. 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 Okay. Part of the reason that I'm here is because of monks like Father Seamus. In fact, he was the very first monk that I ever met. That was awesome. Yeah. Um, okay. And speed. Three steps. People come here looking for answers. It's definitely what I was coming here for. One monk that really was a big help was Brother Rafel. Good. Again? Yeah. Yeah? Slower. This is a shout out to you, Brother Rafel. <laughs> this is a shout out to you. I'm talking about you right now. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> I'm being literal here. Okay, ready? Go. It's becoming very, very obvious to me that people are coming to this place looking for answers. That's definitely what I was doing. Monks are a huge help. Ah, it's retarded. Why did I throw that in there? Do it again. <laughs> Especially the Are ones you, that don't. All right. Okay, don't feel bad. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Three steps. People are coming here. Again, just keep walking. Okay, we ready? Okay, road. cool. <laughs> go ahead. Three steps. People are coming here looking for answers. That's why I came here. 
One monk that definitely helped me out with some huge questions that I had was Brother Rafel. It's interesting to note that when the Trappists first came over here from France, they tried farming, but unfortunately it didn't work. The soil here just wasn't good enough. But they still needed to find a way to be self-sufficient. The answer, of all places, was found in their own backyard, Kentucky bourbon. Yeah? Yeah. One more time. Okay. Ready? Okay. Now it's interesting to note that when the Trappists came over here from France, they tried farming. But unfortunately, it didn't work. The soil just wasn't good enough. But they needed to find a way to be self-sufficient. And the answer for them was in their own backyard. Kentucky bourbon of all things. <laughs>